and C3 grasses, also known as cool season and warm season grasses. Now as a generalisation, C3 plants tend to prefer cooler climates and moisture conditions and are very winter active, whereas C4 plants grow better in warmer and drier conditions. Now the terms C3 and C4 actually refer to the different pathways that the plants use to capture carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. Now all of the species have the more primitive C3 pathway. Now in addition, C4 pathway has evolved in species in the wet and dry tropics. The first production of carbon fixation in the C3 plants involves three carbon molecules while C4 plants initially produce a 4 carbon molecule that then enters the 3 carbon molecule cycle. Now the differences start in the leaves, which of the warm season grasses have a thick wall around the vascular cells. These walls are also known as a bundle of sheath. Now these cells are packed with chloroplasts and other oligals to ensure that the overall rate of photosynthesis is rapid. In warm season grasses, the C4 compounds are passed quickly through the cells where these release CO2. The CO2 is then utilised just as it is in the cool season grasses and the products can be shunted directly into the vascular cells for transport to those parts of the plant where they're needed for growth. These differences are important because the two pathways are also associated with the different growth requirements of the plants. C3 plants are adapted to the cooler season establishment and grow either in wet or dry environments. On the other hand, C4 plants are more adapted to the warm or hot seasonal conditions under moist or dry environments. A feature of C3 grasses is the greater tolerance to frost compared to C4 grasses. And C3 species of grass also tend to generate less bulk than C4 grass species. Now the presence of both C4 and C3 grasses can be desirable in a pasture as they can occupy different niches. C3 grasses often do better in shady conditions, where C4 grasses often dominate in full sun conditions, thereby providing greater ground cover over the range of conditions. So it's not uncommon to find both C4 and C3 grasses in one paddock or field, and this has an advantage of covering more of the surface throughout the year, especially on sports turf surfaces. But this is also the case in farmers' fields, where grazing can then continue throughout the year. Now another place you can find a mixture of C4 and C3 grasses is during the transition of winter to summer and summer to winter, and most commonly in places such as Australia, New Zealand and the transition zone in the USA, where the winters tend to be too cold for the warm season grasses and the summer tends to be too hot for the cool season grasses. And if you'd like to know more about International Greenkeepers Fire, you can find us at internationalgreenkeepers.com